Good morning. This is a response to a video by Roj Bush called More Apathy. Hi there. You're talking about the... Well, you're talking about Thunderfoot because specifically you're talking about how the, the terms of service haven't changed. But again, because I guess because Thunderfoot's been flagged and has raised the issue, the, the idea of flagging and the problems with false DMCA and the false the problem with false flagging have again risen to the surface, but this isn't a new problem that's been around for a while, as you rightly point out. You yourself made a video a couple of years ago about this. Um, so it isn't that the terms of service have changed and that any particular group is being attacked. It's simply that uh, you know a large channel like Thunderfoot has made it uh, into the spotlight again. I think you're right. I mean, obviously you're right. The terms of service don't seem to have changed at all. But what has changed, I think, is the social architecture of the site. I've made a couple of videos about this. And I know you're up to speed on this, this, this penal. But yeah, the social architecture of the site has changed an awful lot. It's changed in very specific ways. A lot of the social features are, are diminished. There aren't groups anymore. The way that Friends is working now is bundled into subscribers is different. The whole layout of the page does things. I know it, 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 it might sound trivial, but just the, the, the actual um, layout of the page makes an enormous amount of difference to, to how, um, how community is experienced on this site. And little differences to the to the algorithms that are in place as well. I mean, for example, one of the things that's happening quite a lot right now, which I know a lot of people know about, is the kind of rise of the reply girl phenomenon, which you know is I don't know however you feel about that. It, it's a it's a way of gaming the the um, the algorithms that are present on the site to bring up related videos. But that does something very specific again to the social architecture. It changes the social nature of the space that we're in. So even though the terms of service haven't changed, the social arrangements, the social formations, the kind of feel about it has changed. You know, the town plan has changed, even though the same laws apply. And, uh, and those kind of things make an enormous difference. So when flagging campaigns take place now, it feels different. And, 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 um, and, 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 yeah, and, and I think many people feel much more vulnerable as a result. And they should. You know, we've always been vulnerable to flagging. It's an insane system. It's, well, it's not insane. It's just corporate, isn't it? But um, yeah, and, and, and things do need to change. And yes, I think you're right. YouTube does need to be protested against. It is the largest platform. It is the biggest public square available. So it, it's, it's it's not as simple as just saying, "Oh, well, we'll go somewhere else." Then, even though I think people should, um, it, it, there should be. Um, we need to have a kind of multivalent approach right now. I think. Yes, campaign for uh, more accountability from YouTube, campaign for free speech on YouTube, campaign for fair use on YouTube. But at the same time, um, think about alternatives, think about more distributed models that aren't prey to the same kinds of changes brought about by just changes which affect, as I say, the social architecture of the site and which allow those kind of things to take place. We, we do need to think of alternatives. We, we really do.